we need to talk. Survival mode. It's new addition to the Fallout franchise. It, it takes some of the best of what we've had from mods in the past in Fallout 3 in New Vegas and introduces it as part of the Bethesda canon into Fallout 4. And for those of you who enjoy your computer games to be challenging, for those of you that find the normal game great, but just a little bit too easy, survival mode adds um, a new and difficult challenge to the game. It interferes with lots of different things, such as giving most kind of chemicals, things, positive effects, and negative effects. It makes you carry less. It makes things damage you more, it makes um, you uh, uh, need kind of sleep and food and all these kind of things um, that kind of really make you struggle to survive, hence the word survival mode. But in my view there is sometimes a, a, a difference between challenging and annoying. You know what I mean? And I think sometimes it's hard to get the balance on one side of that fence um, or the other. And also, what one player finds really challenging, another player will find really, really annoying. And I'm using challenging here in the positive sense. I'm using challenging to kind of mean you enjoy that particular challenge. And one part of survival mode that I personally find irritating rather than challenging is some of the effects that kind of come with stim packs and chemicals and things like that. Because you take your stim pack which heals you more slowly and that could, that's fine that bit is kind of challenging so i need to kind of withdraw from combat and come back i can get that but it makes you thirsty really thirsty so you have your stim pack which heals you a little bit that makes you really thirsty so it means you have to take on a more more drink and more kind of food and stuff which also heals you a little bit and which means you have to carry a lot more food around the place and drink around the place to help you with the stim packs and you've already got less kind of carry weight in the first place so you're already kind of thinking well i need to be careful how much i kind of carry here and because you're a little more vulnerable you already have to kind of carry less armor and yes you could just argue well yes yes adipose this is the challenge this is this is the whole point i know i know i know but i personally find the effects of stim packs and a few other chemicals that come to make you thirsty and hungry all the time more just kind of frustrating and constantly kind of going oh god i'm thirsty again i'm thirsty again i'm thirsty again i, I just want to heal myself why does it have um this so what i want to show you today is um a little tweak that does still give some negative effects to chemicals and rat away and stim packs but it doesn't kind of completely base it around thirst and require you constantly to be kind of drinking and downing things down um because um for me i'd prefer um, another little tweak to game, make the game more fun. And because, you know, the wonderful way that they've incorporated mods from the very, very beginning and um, allowed even now on console players to get involved with this, we don't need to feel guilty. We don't need to feel that we're kind of avoiding um, survival mode. We are embracing it. But for what one player might find incredibly fun, another player might just enjoy having not an easier ride, but a different ride. You know, something that's challenging and enjoyable for them because ultimately that is why we are here to have fun, to enjoy these games, to save the world and to go back to work on Monday and say, hey, what did you do at the weekend? Oh, really? You went ice skating? Well, I saved the world. And we had fun doing it. So, let's take those thirst-inducing stim packs and mod it. Welcome to Customizable Needs plus Realistic Aid Side Effects. And this is a really cool mod by someone called Igner. E. Egner. E. A. G. N. N. R. Igner. Igner. Whoa! And the, we've just been attacked by green. Power of green compels you. Now, what this one does is, um, I really like this mod because it seems to have basically just kind of really thought out exactly what you need. Um, to do, and my fingerless gloves are looking quite, quite beautiful there. Um, exactly what still maintains a challenge, but also um, is is fun. So there's two parts to this mod, and you can choose whether you want to have the, uh, um, whether you just want the customizable needs or where you want the realistic side effects as well. So let's just quickly look at the customizable needs. There's a few mods that do similar things to this one, but this one does it particularly well. You go into your um, little mod holotape, and you can basically decide how hungry you want to get and how quickly you want to be, get that hungry. And the same goes for thirst and the same goes for sleep. And if you look into here, if I go into my thirst settings, the default is four and I've just moved mine down to two because I do still want to get thirsty. I love that aspect. I love the aspect of being hungry, but I just don't want to be hungry and thirsty all the time because it's kind of annoying to constantly be kind of like da 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 da. Oh, I'm hungry. Go into the pit boy, go across to the A tab, find the food. Have a look, what have I got? Which food shall I have? I'll have that one. Oh, la 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 la. Oh, I'm hungry again. And you know, that, that's, you know, I, I like the aspect of I need to eat a couple of times a day. I don't want to constantly be in, in my pit boy um, 
just click, clicking clicking through menus. That's not fun. Um, and you can so you can customize that, and you can choose whether you want to have sleep effects. Now, this is a really, 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 really cool one. I like this. He's changed it. He or she, Ignor, has changed it so that your initial thirst and hunger effects, which is peckish and parched, I believe, double P's, um, don't actually have a negative effect. They are a warning. So you get peckish and you don't get any kind of minus intelligent or charisma or endurance or anything like that. That's the next effect. So as soon as you get peckish, you go, right, that is the point I need to eat within the next, you know, uh, 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, same with the th with, with, with parched, um, you know, it's that early thing. And it, it, that's a lot more realistic, isn't it? Because when you start to get thirsty in real life, when you start to get thirsty, you don't instantly kind of start crawling around and go, oh, dear God, my brain is just gone. You know, that's the, the, the next kind of effect. Um, so it just moves the effects one down, if that kind of makes sense. Um, so you do still feel the negative effects, but not straight away, which I think is a really, really nice little tweak. But the reason why I really, really installed this mod was because it changes the effects of Stimpaks and and other little drugs. Now, in before, what Stimpaks did was they made you really, really thirsty and healed you slowly, in survival mode, that is. And now, they do still heal you really, really slowly, but it has an effect on your action points instead, which means there is still a cost to it, there is still a kind of like, a, oh, do I really want to do this? But it isn't going to harm, uh, mean you have to carry around water or go into menus all the time. If you just have a look down the bottom uh, right-hand side of my screen, you see I've got my action points right down the bottom there. I'm going to take my stim pack and look, my action points are completely gone, but instantly start um, respawning. So it's as if my body, I've just kind of injected myself and then my body's kind of gone a huge amount of effort because of what's just happened. So my action points have completely drained, but then my body starts recovering straight away. And then I haven't got to go into the pit boy and be like, and let's have a drink, and let's have a drink, and let's have a drink. And the same goes for um, Radaway, except with Radaway, it used to make you thirsty and now it doesn't. It still has the negative effect of adding fatigue and suppressing immunity, and so there's still that strategy, but it doesn't, it doesn't make you um, thirsty. Now, um, Ignor has also added a little cost on antibiotics. Basically, they do what they always do, but there is a small chance that you might accidentally give yourself a nasty disease by doing so. And if you think about it, out in the kind of out in the Commonwealth, la 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 la. Oh look, some medication, great. <laughs> um, you know, you're not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, unless of course you're role playing a doctor. And then you, it allows you to um, have a small cost. And if you get ill, it takes you like a couple of days to kind of get rid of it. And if you're playing in survival mode, getting sick occasionally um, can be quite fun, it, uh, because I think that it, and again, it's that kind of realistic idea of. Um, you know, I'm here, I've got to spend a few days at how hold out in this little hovel, hope I can survive. Um, he's also, Ignor has also added um, some ch uh, minor changes to the medic perk here, um, which helps you to develop, uh, to heal more with stim packs, but it also um, develops your antibiotic resistance um, down. So if you if you do want to, like, become the Wasteland Doctor, um, that can help you do that as well, which I think are just really, really nice set of tweaks. So this is the page over on uh, the Nexus. Excuse my very large amount of um, uh, uh, tabs open. Customizable needs plus realistic side effects. If you like this mod, then endorse it, which I am doing um, right now, because I've been now been using this for about a week. I really, really enjoy these little tweaks. Um, and the link is in the description um, below. And obviously, read through. Make sure you're kind of happy with the effects. You can choose whether you just want customizable needs or whether you want customizable needs and the realistic side effects. And then it's your usual um, mod manager um, installation of going across the files, which will load in a second. It, it, it installs. You, you click it. You, you you install it. You right click it. You press the install button, and um, and we're all ready to go. At the moment, this mod is not available on uh, Bethesda.net for you console players. The closest you've got is um, customizable um, survival mode, of course, is a mod called Rule Breaker by Maddie, but that, that's different. That mod just kind of turns features on and off, but hopefully um, the, a mod like this one or a mod similar to this will end up there um, eventually. I hope you found uh, this uh, video useful. If you like the mod, then please go and endorse it and download it. And if you've liked the video, then please subscribe to the channel and you can watch my survival roleplay where Mitchell will be getting very, very stimpacked up over the course of his adventures. Thanks for watching. You have been fantastic. Bye.